This, ladies and gentlemen, is the most dedicated person to ever lap the Nerva Cream. Did you say Flans Garden? Flans A piece of Nerva Cream history. He was a good friend. Rocket Bunny! Let's see, hold on. <laughs> Money. What are you eating? Go home. Go home. Okay. See you. Yeah. Good morning. As you can see, we're still not exactly really awake because it's slightly before 8 again, Friday. Thanks for the 90 year celebration of Nürburgring. Nürburgring decided to open up on Friday as well from 8 till 4 today, however, and uh, there is no 24 hours layout today, so it means no GP track. It doesn't make me sad. It may actually make me happy. I really don't like the GP track. I find it kind of useless. It puts a lot of stress on the brakes, on the tires, and I explained it to you yesterday. But anyway, they say early bird gets the worm, and today early bird gets to do some instruction in this Honda Civic Type R. I forgot your name to be honest. Stefan. Stefan, hi. Yeah, he stopped by yesterday and asked if we can do some instruction laps and um, well, why not? Why not? And I'm uh, very, very happy because, I, well, I should say excited because it's as a matter of fact the first Type R of this Type R that I will be ever going out with on the Nürburgring. Yeah, so used to be the fastest front wheel drive car, uh, then, then, I forgot which something took it oh no the, the the club sport the golf club sport and now again the new type r the 2017 or 18 model it has again the record so very fast car but as you all know it's not about driving fast since it's well it's about driving well and enjoying the track so yeah eight o'clock one of the first people on the track one hour later, and we're still driving on the Nürburgring, according to amazing Honda Type R. Back at Apex, and I think the car is still in one piece. <laughs> and look at the smile, look at the smile. This is why we do it. The Nürburgring brings smiles. How was it for you? A great, a great experience, uh, absolutely worth. And uh, strong recommendation on everyone. Uh, <laughs> Going to the ring, uh, book Misha, the instructor. <laughs> yeah, definitely worth and uh, a lot better. Yeah, yeah, we uh, his driving improved a lot, so we are now almost at the limit of the car. Some, yeah, need to work a bit more on the gearing, but hey, it's a manual for real men, and real men need to work out. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. good again, hope you enjoyed. I truly did my first lap ever in the Type R, so uh, yeah, I'm. I, yeah, since most of you are gonna ask me, since sometimes I make a joke about the Honda, like Honda, Honda, Rice, Rice, this is definitely another league. This is not like a 90s CRX with uh, with a fart can on it. Like I said to you earlier, it used to be the fastest car on the ring, and now the new Type R is the fastest car. So, what I told to him as well, I was positively surprised that suspension was actually good for the Nürburgring, because we hit some limits, and the car was not unstable. So... That was a very good point. The tires, of course, can be improved, the brake pads and such, but that's pretty much with every car. But again, suspension, good job, Honda. Really well done. The only point that he said to me, to me is that uh, you should uh, change the intercooler because after one lap, the boost is dropping from 1.5 to 1.0. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so uh, yeah, that's something you could improve. So that goes as well for you if you own a Type R. This is our input after five laps on the Nürburgring in one hour. Good, I will not hold you off anymore because I have a long journey home again. Um, yeah, bucket seats, bucket seats, always funny to get out. And I am in the meanwhile already joined by Gabriel and his girlfriend all the way, not from Euskirchen because this is where he rented the car from, all the way from Canada. Hey guys! How are you doing? I'm good, and you? Yeah, good. God rush ready. Yes. Yes. Here. Here. You, you, how often have you done it? I've done it four times. Four times. That's four times more than me. <laughs> yeah, you need to do it. You will like it. Yeah, 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 maybe. I need to make... Hello. Hello. How are you doing? Good, and you? Good, good. So, what's your plan? 
Uh, I don't have a plan. I think some... I'm just gonna hang out with you when you're free and uh, maybe go get some photos of the ring. That's the that's the wrong like use of right. words. When when I'm free, I'm never free. <laughs> <laughs> and of course now everyone gonna ask like, yeah, what do you do then apart from making videos? Yeah, just come over and you will see me being bored behind my desk over there somewhere all the time, and then. Yeah, going and head out, doing some laps with amazing Type R. And the quick stop over and the fast forward to Atomic, RT Motorsport and Rentec. The guys are already inside and the reason why they are already inside, I've been already inside because I had to drop off the second key to the Polo, uh, which is sold and getting picked up today. But I came over and saw, oh, there are a lot of interesting updates that I'd like to show to you guys. Well, the Polo will have a final goodbye because it'll be picked up in 15 minutes but first of all a small update on the showroom of atomic look at this amazing pictures by Dilla from the first time attack hey look it's gt86 peaking and lots of gtr and e36 and this amazing coffee table this is really cool really cool i believe it's a it's the amg engine from rentec but now Let's go to the workshop and I'll show you something, something special, something special. So, this is, as a matter of fact, the one and only, well, AMG, AMG, but since we're at Rentec, it could be basically anything, but this is the one and only engine that has won the 2016, so last year's 24-hour race of the Nürburgring, Black Falcon, SAP, the white with blue car, AMG GTR, no, AMG GT3. Um, yeah, uh, I touch a piece of Nürburgring history. This is pretty cool. They have to do a small rebuild on the engine. And I asked him, is it going to the museum? And he said, no, why? They're going to continue racing with it. So that's pretty cool. The Cupra is getting some, some brake upgrades because it's, well, they are already gone. And now the new endless brake pads are installed. The Ultima still standing still and yeah, yeah. Then OPC engine, another OPC engine, because this OPC has lost its engine. The piston decided like, hey, I want to break free. And then it just went away. Then this car, the bra bus, which is not really a bra bus, but the only body kit embedged. If you have watched the vlog of, I believe, somewhere like Two weeks ago or one and a half week ago when this car just arrived here and i told you that it has all the body kit and everything but the engine was completely stuck so now it's out to get the turbo upgrade by rentec so this is how the amg s63 engine looks like yep yep as much as i can tell you now it looks pretty empty here underneath oh well oh well well good i guess that's enough of overview Oh, look at that. That's still our exhaust that I have destroyed of the GT86. Should kind of, I don't know, hang up at Club Apex. <sighs> bye bye, Polo. Bye bye. You was a good friend. Hmm. Oh shit. Better hide for the Mustang. Oh, okay. I think we're safe now. Um, never get old Mustang jokes, just like the people that are near them, sorry. Um, yeah, uh, just did a lap with the Sub 7 up and now let's do a bit of car spotting. Anyway, M4 and then here a 570S, which is um, in a nice orange color, also the M3 GTS. A lot of S -S today, which is quite good. Then some JDM, Carporn, uh, GC8, and he had a buddy with him, a uh, P1, not the P1 McLaren GTR, but the P1 GC8, a very rare car, but unfortunately it had a small crash this morning in Berkwerk. Mm -hmm. But I guess all the owners of other P1s are pretty happy now for having the value of their cars rising even more. Then of course also, yeah, the R34 GTR does it need any introduction? I guess not. I guess not. M3, and then there, a pretty uncommon car, <laughs> a Defender, but I'm sure it's just a visitor. Although maybe he goes on the ring as well. I don't know. Forced could be 
going straight. NASCAR sticker on the E36. Mm, yeah, well, probably a fan, but the BMW definitely has nothing to do with NASCAR. 430, blank. Again, you remember this car from a couple of vlogs ago. Oh, wow, is this a Rocket Bunny? Really? Yep, Rocket Bunny, GT86. That's something, something special, I would say, definitely. Very cool, very cool. I think it's definitely the first time I see Rocket Bunny, not at all, but Rocket Bunny at an Evergreen because TUV, the German road registration laws and everything, I think it's pretty much pain in the ass to get it. Street legal, but thumbs up. And also just, um, yeah, yeah. This doesn't stand out anymore from this. Really cool. Oh, and even the compressor kit by HKS. That's very good, very good. So not only looks, but also speed. KW suspension, good, definitely thumbs up. And then far, far away, a Gallardo Superleggera. Uh, focus, focus, focus. Yeah, well, you just have to believe me. And I have some very, very good news for you. Remember the P1 that I told you was crashed? Luckily, the motorcycle only hit the rear and it has small scratches on the bumper and the tail light, the SDI tail light, but it's nothing, nothing major. Happy, very happy for the owner. Very happy for the owner. And we're back at Apex again because after all this watching, Gabriel wanted to drive himself in the almighty Polo. There you go, sir. Oh, yes. I don't think it's gonna be a fast lap though, but <laughs> it's about enjoying. It's about crossing off the bucket list that you've been at the Nürburgring, drove the Nürburgring, and came back in one piece. Yes, and I'm gonna enjoy it for sure. And to answer your guys' question, if the Defender was about to go on the track, well, Defender not, but the Stigo one <laughs> does. <laughs> <laughs> Ta da! Welcome on the Nürburgring. Yeah, the Polo is very thirsty, so as the type are from uh, this morning. He just told me he did a lap of himself and he timed himself like everybody kind of does. And he said he went 8.40 and before that he was always over 10 minutes, which is quite nice. But now what's even more nice is look at this amazing Jaguar, automatic. Wow. And now we swap the car and on our way to Brunchen to check out some cars trying by and look what we spot. Look what we spot. It's our Polo. Oh. On its way to probably new owner that's probably gonna take it apart or repair. I don't know. <sighs> I don't know what it is. Jaguar. Wow. And look. There's no color on it, it's just aluminum. The track is unfortunately still closed. When we arrived and we saw a truck of net driving past, that's the company that replaces all the barriers. So either they already done replacing and the track will be open soon, or they were still on the way somewhere at the end of the track to replace it. So yeah, anyway, first time for everything. And I've been coming here for years, and it's actually the first time I ever get fries here at British. Yeah. <laughs> food shot. <laughs> so how's your curry worst? That's good. Yeah, yeah. pretty good. First yeah. time I have that. Yeah. Oh, well, like I said, first time for everything. It yeah. was it was in German, so we just order something. Yeah. <laughs> we didn't know. <laughs> yeah. And we're off again. Wow, is that an LT? I oh, no. Just S 650S. You happy? Yeah, really yeah, happy. Really nice spot. <laughs> cool, let's go back to Apex. Got some people who want to go on the track. 
taxi. <laughs> this, ladies and gentlemen, is the most dedicated person to ever lap the nerve cream. Came with the taxi. <laughs> no, he came. He's from Mexico. He's studying in Aachen, which is like almost 200. Well, okay, 120 kilometers away from here. He came with public transport here, so a train, bus, and then he messed up. He took the wrong exit, and now he took the taxi. Wow. Wow. This is dedication. Yeah, yeah. so I definitely gonna head out and meet him. Hello. Hi. How are you doing? Yeah. Hi. You made it? Uh, yes, finally for, 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 I... With the taxi and the bus? Yeah, I made some mistakes, but... <laughs> I never heard they're talking Spanish before. That's kind of strange. Yeah. Welcome on the Nova Cream. Well, thank you. I hope you enjoyed. So, we're back at Apex and I see that something gets delivered. So you said like you're gonna like get a throwaway grill. Is that what you call throwaway grill? I changed my mind. <laughs> I, got a, I got a grill for Max, so we can we can grill Max. It's perfect size. Let's see. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing in my grill, huh? Race grill. <laughs> Does it need a roll cage? It doesn't. It, does, it has a roll cage. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now, fortunately, he only managed to do one lap out of two. Came all the way, spent probably three hours or more in the in the bus and train. So I think he deserved a nice taxi to his bus or to, uh, bus stop. I think that will work. So hop in. Now this one. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> there you go, sir. Your bus stop. Thank you very much. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed. It was amazing. Right? Perfect. Happy to Thank hear. You. Well, have a safe travels back, and I hope to see you again so you can finish your second lap. Yes. You got um, your lap tickets and everything. Uh, yes, I tonight. Good. Perfect. Uh, uh, thank you very much for the ride too. Yeah. Amazing car. <laughs> Good. Thank See you. you. Bye. Bye. Yeah. What we're gonna do? So imagine you were. Imagine this racetrack was in Northern California. Yes. Okay. So what we're looking at is that we want to offer basically free laps to people. Okay. Who would that be? It'd be students, young people. Yeah. Who don't have time. Well, I guess this is definitely an amazing way to end today's vlog. Announcement of something really special, exciting. Maybe some people would say stupid, crazy, but we're gonna try to make, to offer people free laps with a car. And of course, not for everyone. You really have to be, have to prove us that you really don't have the money for it and really come out here. And but there'll be more details on that. But for now, I hope you enjoyed today's vlog. I definitely have enjoyed today's day. First time in the Type R. Um, this one instruction they really improved the guys driving. Um, yeah hang out with my Canadian friends uh, we got the grill Maximus is playing with tires so yeah see you guys tomorrow tomorrow the track will be open from 1 till uh, well till 7 so in the morning there'll be some classic cars so I hope to see them unless it's going to be too rainy then I will just say you know what I'm gonna stay in bed so yeah one more food shot and then See you guys tomorrow. Yes. Oh yeah. We're getting ready for car fire talk next year. Practicing. <laughs> this was Misha's video and they used it. <laughs> and Lise, what car did you see today that was fast? Yeah, Porsche was fast too. Was it pretty? What color was it? It was white, like this. Was it this color? No. Now, where did you did you did you jump? What car jumped? And what did we do? We did like that. And what was it? A jump? Tell me about it. Oh, it was like that. Say Flamscarton.
Kanan. Yeah, we jumped at Fransgarten, huh? Hey, did you go on the Nordschleife? Uh? Say Nordschleife? Yeah. Look at juice. You got some juice? Say gin and juice? Gin and juice? <laughs> Say laid back? Look up. <laughs> With my mind on my money and my money on my mind. And in today's vlog, we're gonna find out how many people can fit in a Cupra. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun, dun. 